the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap. Show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes. Tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yang lang hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the brew review, so we gonna party all night. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. You shut up. Alright, what's going on guys and gals? And we are back for yet another final edition of the brew review. And I did not tell you to shut up. No. <laughs> Just a little behind the scenes. We're going to keep it in there. Shut up. So, anyhow, we have something new, something unusual, something catchy. A first timer, ladies and gentlemen. So let's do the rotisserie shot. This is Harpoon Camp Wanamango. Yes, crisp, tropical, refreshing, pale ale with mango. It is 5% by volume. You can see the neck here. They're hiding what the quantity is, but it says established in 86 mm -hmm. with, I guess the H is like their official trademark. Yeah, Harpoon. You read across here and it says, you know summer is here. When the brewery doors are wide open, malt and hop aromas free to mingle with the summer breeze. What sun-kissed tanks glow? Now, why do they got that crossed out? I don't know. Forget it. Ah. Beer, please. Round up your friends and join us here for our very special summer beer. Boston, Massachusetts, Windsor, Vermont, employee-owned. So like them on Facebook. Follow them on Twitter and like them on Instagram. <laughs> There's our plug. So, it is a New England beer, ladies and gentlemen, tonight. Uh, I love the name, Camp Wanamango. What even, a mango mango? Even has a mango boat on it. I kind of uh, think, it, it, it kind of reminds you of like an Indian type of beer. Yeah, oh, okay, I see what you mean. They're, they, they're explaining everything, they cross it out, they're well, like, ah. I'm thinking that might be a defect in the packaging now that I think about it. No, 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 it's actually made to be like that. Like, you're explaining all this stuff, and then finally they're like, you know what, fuck it, just get the beer out. They're kind of like uh, my brother, where we're trying to give all the history of the beer, he's like, yeah, just, just let's just drink it, let's just drink it, let's just drink it. He drinks beer how most men like to watch porn, they just want to get to it. Mm-hmm. Mango infused pale ale with a tropical aroma, malty sweetness, and subtle hot. Turn bottle over. Sunblocked bonfires, music, some friends. This beer bring on summer. I agree. I am. Well, no, I'm. I'm a spring kind of guy. Well, I'm. I'm summer all the way. I could live in the heat without snow. That's all I care about. Uh, like we said, five point. Yeah, five percent by volume. So, hey, it's kind of a. It's your basic beer. This is, I'm going to go on a limb and say this is probably going to be like one of your refreshing beers. Because if it's a summer beer, you're going to drink can, it to beat the heat. I can already, but you're going to drink it to beat the meat? Beat the heat, not the meat. Oh, okay. But yeah, I, I can already see that it, you can see through it. So mm -hmm. it is a light one. So I'm going to, well, I'm going to read this here first. I, I, I'm, I'm going to take a guess and say that you have to pop it. So that's it. Of course. Ah. So... Getting to the rescue. Do -do 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 -do. A PA beer, save any New England beer. Okay. In New England, they call it beer. Beer! Not beer. That's the Canadians. Yeah, Canada's beer! Beer! In New England, it's beer. Beer. You don't drink whoa. and drive with your car. Uh oh, I heard a whoa. It smells very hoppy. Really? Like, you know, grassy. It's a pale ale. Yeah, so it's 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 expected. But I, I do smell hints of mango, though. It's not a bad smell, however. <laughs> it's not as strong as what an IPA would be. Of course, this is only a five percent by volume, so it's not going to fuck you up too bad. So, dog, guess what? Have you ever gone to summer camp as a child? Yeah, this one time at pay camp. No, <laughs> well, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to camp. He's actually going to. Where are you going? Park room camp. What a mango! What a mango! Let's try it. Guzzle. That was a gulp. And flare burst. I heard it. <laughs> he slammed that shit down. I like it. 
Yeah? Yeah, it's really good. Like, the smell has a strong... I guess the smell comes off as very harsh if, you know, if you don't like the grass. But when you drink it, it goes down rather smooth. Smell it's, is deceiving. It, it kind of puts you in the mind of, like, a summer shandy. Yeah. If you will. Like, it's almost comparable to Dundee. It's a little hoppier. I just compared another one to Dundee not long ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was another one, like a summer shandy. We did it pretty recently. Yeah. But definitely hoppier than a summer shandy. It's not a... It, this is a pale ale. and The shandies are totally different. Oh, yeah, and I apologize for the epic fail last week. <laughs> I was going to wear plastic. <laughs> I barfed on you. Yeah, you son, <laughs> you son of a bitch. No, uh, this is actually really good. Um, like I said, not as harsh as an IPA. It is a pale ale, though. You do taste a little bit of the hops. And you know what? No aftertaste. No aftertaste. Very, very subtle hint of mango. So I, very I mean, so far, I like it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh. So let's see. And it burps well. It probably will taste pretty badass in a glass. As we pour. Let's see if we can see that. Maybe we can get some cinnamon in there. Cinnamon? Some cinnamon. All right. Uh, no, see. actually no cinnamon at all. It's very clear. kind of has like an amberish color to it, if you yeah, will. Yeah, I don't know if it's the lighting in here or not. But, but let's get a close-up of look of it. You can see there is, the head's quickly dissipating. There is a little carbonation to it. Yeah, I'm surprised and at how clear it is. The head actually is staying up. That's yeah. what she said. <laughs> So, the head is Glass test! Glass head! Head stayed up. This is mandatory. you got to have it in a glass. <laughs> mandatory glasser. Yeah, that, I mean, with, with most of these craft beers that we've been doing, you must glass it up. Big difference. Not I'm saying it was bad in the bottle, but I think it was better in the glass. You do get a little more of uh, flavor out of the glass, which mm -hmm. is notable. Hmm. You know, I I can say nothing bad about this beer. It's good. I got one slight criticism about it. What's that? But it's not a big deal. I can never look it. What's that? I didn't taste any mango. I tasted a very, very slight hint of it. Very, very slight. So, for that, I'm, I'm just going to say a 4.5. It would have been a perfect 5 if I did taste mango, mm -hmm. but I, I'm, I'm being picky here. So, I, yeah, yeah, I like it. That, that, that's just us being... I'm going to do 4 as well. Same, Pretty much the same reason. 4.5 so for me. It's 4.5? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'll go 4 myself. Uh, again, that's just us being very picky that it didn't taste like mango. But you know what? Give me a 6 or this. I'll drink it. Really good. I like it. So yeah, props to Harpoon. Harpoon! Harpoon. You're on the board! Yeah! <laughs> you're and your first time ever on the brew view for, what, it took five years. Yeah. Now, if it was this... Yeah. You, hold on. Brain on fart. That. There you that. Okay. Like, Duclaw's very first time. They sucked. They were at the bottom, and then they slowly started working their way up. You're way above Duclaw right now. Because this this is the first time we've ever had any of your thing, and it hadn't sucked. Yeah, so there you go. Yes. I hope you enjoyed this week's review featuring Harpoon Camp Water Mango. I love so, that. Water Mango. So yeah, tune in next week, and we'll see you later.